हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर राजेंद्र कुरानने फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल टीच इजी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी कंपोजिट सेक्शंस और कंपोजिट बार एंड हाउ स्ट्रेसेस आर इंड्यूस्ड इन द कंपोजिट बार लेट अस फर्स्ट सी द मीनिंग ऑफ कंपोजिट सेक्शन और कंपोजिट बार अ बार मेड अप ऑफ two or more different materials such that the entire system deforms as a single unit is known as composite bar the very common example of composite section or composite bar is a rcc column in rcc column two different materials concrete and steel reinforcement are used so when two or more different materials are used so that the entire section behaves as a single unit then it is known as composite section composite section is a very basic concept which is required for rcc member reinforced cement concrete member okay now as the composite section behaves as a single unit the deformation of the different materials used in it are equal at the same time whatever is the total load carried by that composite section will be the summation of the loads carried by different materials used in it okay so this is uh, the meaning of composite section now let us see some mathematical part in it for that purpose this is the composite section in which material number 1 and material number 2 hatch portion is material 1 and the plane portion is material 2 it is subjected to axial load p now look here for material number 1 a1 is the cross sectional area e1 is the modulus of elasticity of material number 1 l1 is length of material number 1 delta l1 will be the deformation of material number 1 sigma 1 will be the stress induced in material number 1 and p1 is the load shared by material number 1 similar things are there for material number 2 a2 cross sectional area a2 modulus of elasticity l2 length delta l2 deformation sigma 2 stress and p2 load shared now here one hint i want to give you that is you will have to select material number 1 having greater value of modulus of elasticity so e1 is greater than e2 so which you will select as material number 1 whose modulus of elasticity is more okay so this is important now let us see what do you mean by modular ratio modular ratio is the ratio of modulus of elasticity of one material to the modulus of elasticity of the other specifically modular ratio is larger value of e upon smaller value of e that is here you can say modular ratio will be e1 upon e2 now in the introduction i have told you that as two or more different materials behave as a single unit the first one the deformation of different materials are equal so i will say here delta l1 is equal to delta l2 we know that 
from expression of delta L, delta L is equal to P L upon A E. P upon A can be sigma. So, for deformation, sigma into L upon E is the expression. So, for delta L1, it will be sigma 1 into L1 upon E1 is equal to sigma 2 into L2 upon E2. Okay? Now, in this case, L1 and L2 are same, that is L. Therefore, they will get cancelled. So, we can very easily say that sigma 1 upon E1, that is strain in material number 1, is equal to strain in material number 2. But, the basic condition is deformations are equal. Strains are equal is not the basic condition. It will be possible only if the length of the two different parts are equal. Okay. So, after cancelling L from both sides, sigma 1 will be E1 upon E2 into sigma 2. We know that E1 upon E2 is modular ratio M. Therefore, sigma 1 is equal to m times sigma 2. This is the first expression. Now, what is the second important thing which we discussed regarding composite section? The total load on that particular composite section will be shared by the different materials used. Means it is sum of the loads taken by different materials. Therefore, if we say that P is the load, then P1 plus P2, P is equal to P1 plus P2. What is P1? Load shared by material number 1. P2 is load taken by material number 2. So, P is equal to P1 plus P2. Now, what is load? Load is equal to stress into area. So, P1 will be equal to sigma 1 into A1 and P2 will be equal to sigma 2 into A2. Therefore, P is equal to sigma 1 into A1 plus sigma 2 into A2. This is second. Now, from this equation 1 and 2, we can find out the stresses induced in material number 1 and 2. Once we find out stresses, stress multiplied by that respective area will be the load shared. And this can be done like this. Okay. Now we will go something further. P is equal to for sigma 1, I will put M sigma 2. So P is equal to M sigma 2 into A1 plus sigma 2 into A2. So here you can say that sigma 2 can be taken common. In bracket it will be M into A1 plus a to bracket complete. Therefore, sigma 2 that is stress in second material can be calculated as total load divided by m a1 plus a2 and this quantity m a1 plus a2 is known as equivalent area of composite section. That means if Instead of two, if only one material is used, what will be the area of that? That is equivalent area of composite section. So, this is the second method by which you can find out. Directly, you can find out sigma 2. Once you calculate sigma 2, then by multiplying it by m, you can find out sigma 1. And once sigma 1 and sigma 2 are known, then you can find out the load shared by the material as far as deformations of the material. Okay. Now, the most common example of composite section is RCC column. Okay. So, for RCC column, if I take that material number 1 is steel and material number 2 is concrete, then equivalent concrete area is EQC. EG plus M minus 1 into AS. What is equivalent concrete area? If steel is not used, what will be the area of concrete to be provided for that column? That is known as equivalent concrete area. EQC is equivalent concrete area. 
AG is gross area of column, AM is modular ratio and A is total cross-sectional area of reinforcement that is steel. Once you know AQC again, just now we saw that sigma 2 is equal to P upon equivalent area. Therefore, stress in concrete sigma C is P upon AEQC and once you get sigma C multiplied by M, you will get sigma S where M is ES upon EC that is modular ratio. Now this is the actual concept of composite bar or composite section. Now let us solve one problem on it. Let us take the problem. A RCC column 300 mm by 300 mm means square in section with 8 steel bars of 20 mm diameter. Okay, 8 bars are used as reinforcement. Each bar is of diameter 20 mm carries a load of 360 kilo newton okay naturally this is axial load calculate the stresses induced and the load shared by steel and concrete also calculate concrete equivalent concrete area also calculate equivalent concrete area the modular ratio is 15. Now let us see one by one. Gross area of column. The dimensions of the column are given. Okay. So 300 into 300 that is 9 into 10 raised to 4 mm square. Area of steel that is area of 1 bar into 8 because 8 bars are used. So 8 into pi into 20 square by 4 which comes out to be 2513.27 mm square. Area of concrete will be gross area minus area of steel which comes out to be 87486.73 mm square. Now, let us calculate sigma c by first method. P is equal to PS plus PC. PS means sigma s into AS. PC means sigma c into AC. But we know that sigma s is m times sigma c. So here sigma s will be 15 point sigma c. So p is put 360 into 10 raised to 3 to convert it in Newton is equal to 15 into sigma c into as. This is the value of as which is substituted plus sigma c into ac. This is the value of ac which is substituted. If you see this particular equation only unknown is sigma c. If you solve for sigma c you get the value of sigma c as 2.88 Newton per mm square. Now once you get stress in concrete multiplied by modular ratio you will get stress in steel that is 15 into 2.88 that is 43.20 Newton per mm square. Now stress in concrete stress in steel is calculated we have to calculate load share load is equal to stress into area so load shared by steel is equal to stress in steel into area of steel which comes out to be 108.57 into 10 raised to 3 newton that is 108.57 kilo newton okay load shared by concrete pc is equal to sigma c into ac that is uh, stress in concrete into area of concrete which comes out to be 251.96 into 10 raised to 3 newton that is 251.96 kilo newton if you add them you will not get exact value of 360 due to rounding up so some decimals are more okay so you can take this pc as total p minus ps then it will be okay okay now we have to calculate equivalent concrete area also so equivalent concrete area a eqc is equal to gross area plus m minus 1 into area of steel put gross area m and steel you get it as 125 185.78 mm square okay now this complete thing can be calculated by second way Sigma C can also be calculated as follows. 
सिग्मा सी इज इक्वल टू पी अपॉन ए ई क्यू सी पुट दैट वैल्यू इट विल कम एज टू एटी एट वंस यू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा सी यू कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ सिग्मा एस एज एम इन टू सिग्मा सी वंस यू गेट सिग्मा एस एंड सिग्मा सी यू कैन कैलकुलेट पी एस एंड पी सी दैट इज लोड शेड बाई दे If you are asked to calculate deformation of each material, that also can be calculated as sigma into L upon E. Do you understand? So with this, we will stop here for this video, and in the next video, we will solve some more examples on composite section. Thank you.